so guys welcome to my channel i'm dennis the national so i'm currently in westlands so i drove all the way from here to here i just wanted you guys to see how much of the repairs have been done for the lower road and the traffic situation especially traffic situation since we all thought that the construction of nairobi expressway will do away with some of the traffic along mombasa road uruai way and uh, wayaki way along westland so let's drive along guys you're going to enjoy this you're going to see the situation especially during rush hour please like and subscribe remember liking gives me a lot of views and help me to do more videos otherwise i hope you enjoy this video uh, watch till then and thank you guys enjoy Hey guys, so I'm just going to ride all the way from Nyayo area to Westlands. So recently I read in the news that the government has set aside uh, over 9 billion for the repair of the Nairobi Expressway Lower Road. So for those who don't know, the Nairobi Expressway Lower Road involves the Mombasa Road, Uhuru Highway and Wayaki Way along, the, along Westlands. So the repair of that road is paramount because for those of us who can't use Nairobi Expressway, we need to have our road back the way it was before the construction of the Nairobi Expressway. Also, guys, you are going to see amazing views. I'm going to show you the roundabouts. You are going to see the replanting of flowers along the pillars. Remember the ones that had been planted all dried up, as you can see right now. Also, guys, remember it's evening and during weekdays, on you know, it's always rush hour in Nairobi City. So you are going to see... If Nairobi Expressway has actually reduced traffic jam or not because I'll be driving on this lower side because the main reason why they constructed Nairobi Expressway was to reduce traffic jam on the lower road and also to make it easy for someone to travel from Westlands to JKI mainly so you're going to see how the lower road uh, looks like during rush hour but I can tell you so far what I've seen and witnessed in this video there's a lot of traffic jam on the lower road, so I'm, I'm thinking many people are avoiding the, the amount that has to be paid on the Nairobi Expressway. Now, for someone who, who has to look at it in this way, using it once or twice a week or something, it's not expensive. But for someone who has to go to work every day, morning and evening, that money starts to be expensive. Let's say he has to pay like around 300 in the morning and in the evening while going back home. That is 600, which is approximately or something like that more or less so it's it's it starts to be a lot of money for middle lower middle income people so i've realized so many people are avoiding nairobi expressway but there are always those who have money to to spend so and time sometimes time time is money so they're using nairobi expressway but still as you can see right here there's still a lot of traffic jams on the lower road and this is something we hoped that nairobi expressway will do away with Otherwise, guys, just enjoy the ride and thank you for always supporting me, guys. Right now, I'm over 32,000 subscribers. I appreciate. I'm humbled. I wish to get to 50,000 subscribers. So, like, subscribe if you are new and enjoy the video.